three threes. Who won the game? Uh, UConn. UConn. UConn won? Yeah. So it's UConn, Purdue in the final? Yep. And you got South Carolina versus uh, Iowa in the other final. Yeah. Who do you like? I tell you what, man. I'm not just saying this because I am a girl dad, but it's been so much fun watching the, this women's tournament. Think about that, man. Like some of the talent. I mean, everybody talks about Caitlin Clark, rightfully so, but Paige, Dawn Staley's team is just, I think they're a brand-new starting five and they're undefeated. Juju Watkins, oh, my goodness. I mean, the, the women's game is alive and well and uh, have had a lot of uh, – taken a lot of enjoyment. And the fact that, like, the entire locker room is talking about, was that a foul, was that not a foul? I love that. Like, the viewership, uh, it's that, – that's really, that's really, really great for those girls. They deserve all of that. I don't know who's going to win. South Carolina's loaded, but, you know, you never put anything past Caitlin Clark and her teammates. Let's talk about tonight's game. Yeah. <laughs> you won the game. Let's talk about this one. Yeah, it was a good win. Obviously, uh, 23 May threes, I believe, a season high, and uh, 38 assists. You know, those those two numbers go hand in hand. Uh, that was fun to watch. Uh, plus nine on the glass, uh, and I bench. You know, can't say enough good things about a bench tonight. 58 bench points, and from beginning to end, um, you know, the, even the guys that closed, those guys were playing at a high level. So. Uh, and Nicola, oh yeah, gets another triple double. But a good win for us. Four games to go, and um, now we got to go on the road and try to get one in, in Utah. KCP's over fifty percent from three now in the last eleven or twelve games. What's working for him, and what's sort of getting him into the rhythms that he's been in? Well, I, I think it speaks to one him him being a great shooter, staying ready, putting the time in. Uh, but also, you look at the quality of looks. I mean, that, that's what I think is most important. Is and when we struggled a few games since the All-Star break and making shots, it wasn't like we were getting bad looks. We just were not making open and wide open looks. And I think he's getting tremendous uh, looks from his teammates. And he's just stepping in, shooting with great confidence. He's one of the best shooters in the league. Um, and again, when you have 38 assists on 53 made field goals, uh, the ball is flying and guys are really trying to get their teammates the best shot possible. How sick was Reggie for him to be wearing a mask on the sideline? And then he bounces back with 18, 5, and 3 and really balanced that. Well, I, I have to give him a lot of credit, man, um, because I didn't think he was going to play. And uh, I, I made sure I did not give him any daps the whole night. I gave him my elbow the whole night. I'm trying to stay healthy here, Matt. Um, but I didn't think he was going to play. For him to go out there and get 18, 5, and 3 and shoot the way he did in 24 minutes um, is just amazing and, and a testament to his t a testament to his toughness. And that allows us, I, I think, obviously, Aaron didn't play, but having Jamal start gets Reggie back with that second unit, more of a natural order to things for us. And it was great to have Jamal Murray back. Um, and I was really thankful I didn't have to put him back in. He's on a minute restriction. And I just told our, uh, Steve Short, I said, listen, man, you can't give me any crap tonight. I kept him well below his minute restriction. So. Uh, but it's really good to have Jamal Murray and Zeke Naji back after having both missed, you know, an extended period of time. How did you feel like Jamal looked physically out there, and, and do you think you'll keep him on that restriction probably for the rest of the regular season, or, or ramp it up a little? Bit? Yeah, I, I think probably you know in, in the the same ballpark as we had tonight. Um, obviously, he didn't he didn't come close to reaching that uh, the minute restriction, which is a good thing. Um, but, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. We want to be smart. We want him back. We want him getting a rhythm because it's not like it used to be the season ended on a Wednesday night and you were playing on Saturday. The way it is now, you, you finished, you got a week off. And so that's why I think it's really important for Jamal to play and find a rhythm. I thought he was pretty good offensively and I, I think defensively in that third quarter. Uh, Jamal and everyone else out there, you know, that was by far our worst defensive quarter. Um, you know, but then in the fourth quarter, once again, we, we were able to uh, lock up and, and get stops and get out and run. Five blocks for Peyton Watson, six assists for Justin Holiday. Just what did those guys bring off the bench for you tonight? Yeah, Peyton was a defensive player of the game. You know, five blocks, six rebounds, um, and just some terrific effort plays, you know, all over the place. And, uh, and Justin Holiday, once again, birthday boy. And so he goes out there, three of three from the field, knocks down two threes, six assists. So I, I felt the whole night. I just loved, even Julian, I, I just loved how our bench was playing. They played with real good energy, and they were attacking, and the ball was moving, and the pace in which they were playing. with they, they were a fun group to watch 
all night long. So, uh, yeah, but Peyton and Justin, to your question, Ryan, I thought those guys were outstanding. <clears throat> All right. All right. Listen, it's a wrap. Get Jamal and Peyton and what's that?